Hi, it's Jacqueline or Galactica and welcome back to another Zodiacats video. If you haven't seen the rest in my series, make sure to go to the playlist that I've linked in the description box below and find your Zodiac sign. I only have a few left, so if you don't see yours, it will be coming up soon. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you're updated when I upload the new Zodiacats videos. So today we have Scorpio. Shout out to all my Scorpio viewers and a couple of special Scorpios in my life. My stepdad had his birthday this month as well as my friend Katie. Happy birthday guys. Scorpio is the eighth sign of the zodiac spanning between October 22nd and November 21st. In contrast to their fiery personality, it is actually a water sign. Its ruling planet is Pluto. No wonder Scorpios are so mad since Pluto has gone through an identity crisis over being a planet or not. As far as the origins of Scorpio, we know from last time, if you watched my Libra video, that Scorpio was once part of Scorpius, a larger constellation connected to Libra. Head to the link in the iCard to watch that video and hear me explain that. In Greek mythology, the constellation of Scorpio came into being when Orion and Scorpius battled to the death, Scorpius being victorious. Zeus later raised them both to the heavens for the lively battle. There were a fair few interpretations, but that's the one that I liked the most. Being a bit of a Disney fan myself, I do want to note that Scorpio was actually Maui's fish hook back in the Polynesian history. The glyph for Scorpio is an M shape, very similar to that of Virgo. The only difference is that the tail points outwards like a scorpion's tail as opposed to Virgo's which curls in on itself. As for gemstones, October's Scorpios have opals as their birthstone, whilst November Scorpios have topaz. Unlike the other star signs that I've done before, I couldn't actually find one gemstone that fit the entire zodiac sign, so I just went with the opal and the topaz. I didn't have any problems finding the flower for Scorpio like I have had with previous signs and like I had with the gemstone. The standout flower was geraniums, but any deep red flowers can be associated with this fiery sign. Very obviously, the animal sign associated with Scorpio is in fact a scorpion. However, any invertebrates and insects can be associated with the sign. Wow, that was such a quick synopsis of Scorpio's sign. I didn't actually have much trouble finding information on it, so most of the information that I provided was pretty set out. There was nothing really open to interpretation like there has been in the past with some other signs. So yeah, that was, that was a really short and quick description. So let's move on to the traits. Scorpios are generally very intense people. They feel emotions deeply and are very passionate. This can make them seem intimidating and demanding, but they will go to any lengths to provide their loyalty and honesty to a friend. Scorpios can be overly jealous types, not necessarily in a relationship sense, but in general life, which may actually result in them inspiring themselves to work harder to become better or to match the achievements of their friends or colleagues. This leads into their outstanding determination and ambition, using any means to achieve their ends. Wait, so basically Scorpios are Slytherins? Scorpios are very, uh, let's say passionate and have a strong drive for pleasure and expression. They can also be highly stubborn beings and do not like to be controlled by others, instead needing to take control themselves over any situation. In terms of compatibility and romance, Scorpios always know what they want and will do what they can to go after it, so they need a partner who is independent and understanding. Fellow water signs Pisces and Cancer, as well as Earth signs Capricorn and Virgo are all good matches for Scorpio. As for most of the other signs, including others of their own, relationships can be challenging. Most notably Gemini, who in contrast to Scorpio's intensity, can become bored easily and doesn't tend to concentrate all their efforts on one goal. This can be frustrating for the ambitious Scorpio. For the overall design of my piece, I wanted to incorporate those intense colours of red and black to symbolise their passion. I turned the tail into a scorpion's tail and added longer ears with slight hooks on the end to mirror the stinger. I kept the galaxy mostly red with hints of purple to complement it and the subtle purple shading that I put into the cat itself. I've really been liking dots, splodges and freckles lately, so I added some of those for texture. And I seriously did not mean for this voiceover to match it going, I actually had originally scripted it to say I added some later, but it matched up perfectly so you can actually see me adding those right now. 
With all of my Zodi cats, I like to hide either the glyph or the constellation itself somewhere in the piece. And in this case, I chose to put the constellation on its back leg in gold, which I also used for the whiskers. To prepare for these videos, I always make a Pinterest board with the most common elements that pop up in relation to the signs. So make sure that you check those out so you can see my inspiration for each month's Zodiac. Cat. As always, I will leave a link in the description box below. Considering Scorpio was quite an easy sign to interpret, this one went really quickly. So I thought I would leave you guys with a bit of a fun fact at the end here. Did you really think that I was going to go the whole video without mentioning ancient Egypt? Well, you're mistaken. There was, in fact, an Egyptian scorpion goddess called Circuit. She was a protector and was said to have the ability to heal venomous stings and bites from deadly scorpions and snakes. In the early days, she was associated with fertility and nature, among a number of other motherly attributes. But considering the amount of female goddesses who took that role, her connection to death and the afterlife became more focused on, while stories of her motherly side was adapted into the goddess Isis. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that little fun fact at the end there. Thank you guys so much for being here and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this one. I hope you have a lovely day and stay safe. I will see you guys in the next video.